frustrated and, and trying to force us into this box. They don't want us to be free. So, I don't know. It's like you got to just walk away from the system at some point. Yeah, but how can you... It's like they don't give you an option just to walk away because, you know, it's like they just slap us in the face every day by, you know, feeling the matrix and everybody just feeling the matrix with the... Uh, you know, doing, going to work and going with their everyday lives and not realizing it, you know, that we're on a flat earth plane and, you know, your blood is your spiritual currency and the book of life is now open, you know, and it's been open and there's people screaming about it. They're yelling at you, like get into the book of life before it's too late, literally. And if uh, people don't want to take that into consideration well you can't say we didn't tell you you know you can't say we didn't warn you this information you know we take it very serious otherwise we wouldn't be in these chats and here talking and you know making all this come into fruition yeah we're not here to start businesses we have been working with businesses because we don't have have much choice considering the situation of the realm and the condition of everything where or birth bonded debt slaves. So without their fiat currency, it's very difficult to live. Some people manage to go off grid, but you look at their lives and it's always a lot more difficult to live between the cracks of society. Yeah. You're usually you know, working you know, 10 times harder than they need to because all the equity is misguided. You've got all of the money in the hands of few of the people and none of the money in the hands of everyone. All the money already exists to pay for everything. Yeah. There's billions and trillions of dollars in creation. They could have already paid for everything, but it's just a capitalistic, you know, you're on your own to earn your wealth, and everybody that's rich before you is just hoarding this money. And I don't know who they think they're fooling because you can't buy your way into heaven with a credit card or cryptocurrency. You need to put up spiritual currency which is your blood sweat and tears you know your savings is your soul needs to be saved yeah yeah like the flow of a river is held in by the banks they're trying to you know the banks are controlling the currency and it's this man-made currency that's been put into play by fake jews that was used to create wars they funded both sides of war so that they can control the outcome. It doesn't matter who wins, who dies. They're just goyim and they will come out on top because they own both sides of the war. So this is the business model that has been running the death cult of our current business model world. It's all the land of the dead. Yep. The only thing you can do with your money to be successful is pay to have a retirement home so you can die comfortably. None of their system has anything to do with life. You're right. Your eternal life is at the North Pole, at the end of your compass. We're inside of a womb. It's a consciousness supercomputer, this realm of creation. It's air, earth, fire, water, and ether. And it is conscious, and it is listening to everything you say, think, and do. It's all recorded. Your heartbeat is expanding and contracting and every beat of your heart is leaving an imprint into this ether that's why you need to seal your intention with your currency to show proof of life and you need a witness from your blood brothers and blood sisters to proof of life otherwise you have no legal claim to this world i don't know what people think they're doing or where they think they are they have no clue but you were birthed in here from your mother's womb you came from between your mother's legs covered in blood and water facts they stole your blood at birth you're already a part of blood magic like they did blood magic to you against your will so to have a problem with blood magic it's too fucking bad they already did blood magic against you you need to undo the blood magic from these satanic pedophile nut jobs that stole your soul print at birth and then told you all these lies about spiritual debauchery that this guy's coming to save you or this guy's coming to save you they all want to fight over whose god is better yeah when in reality eternal life has been at your 
end of your compass needle this whole time. It's always been there. It was there yesterday. It's there today. It's going to be there tomorrow. Yeah. At this point, death is an option. And just because Donald Trump didn't tell you that, that doesn't like mean it's, real. you know, no, it's like getting... they're waiting for like somebody like fucking like in charge, like in a higher up office to tell them, hey, you know, you can get your eternal life. It's like, no, it's everyday people like Michael and Max and Dan uh -huh. and everybody that's telling them this shit, you know, and they don't have to like it. It's this is the the way it is, you know, we're here standing in truth and we put our blood up you know and what's left for us to do make videos lay low chill stay out of trouble this is easy we can do this all day so you know they can try to censor us and stop this information from being spewed out but uh it's too late it's all too late for them they have nowhere to go so at some point you know like even mark i think was just saying it the other day from blair i think had a conversation with them from what i heard but that you know there's something's got to give something's got to give and we're at that point, you know, something's going to give. Yeah. Yeah. They just can't see it. They don't know where they are. They were never showing the majority of the people. It's yeah. not their fault that they don't know. And those yeah. that are in charge of the stolen knowledge, they're not going anywhere. Sure, they're in possession of flat earth information, but they're not right. in tune to the consciousness of the mother goddess coming from the hole. They don't have the eyes to see because they didn't put the spiritual currency in if they did they'd be shouting it from the rooftops trying to get everybody eternal life we're trying to save everybody's soul that's they right can't say we didn't try you know it's no soul and left behind we're so doing it tirelessly and effortlessly you the know way we are we're trying to get this definitely through to you. yes you've missed something important and it eternal life and it's at the end of your compass needle because you're on a flat earth plane and one side of a light hole is a black oh, hole oh. and there's way more to this creation than we can even imagine we're on to the next level of what's beyond the firmament, yeah. what's through the hole, and how do we get back to our bodies above this water? And how big is this multiverse of creation? Like, are there other flat earth planes we can go to? And that information, you know, it's not here. We can only speculate at this point mm -hmm. until we experience it for yeah. ourselves. And that's why the 144,000 need to come together so we can bring forth the knowledge of the ages to fix this Definitely. damage from all of this war, these people posing as God's chosen people, they're, they call themselves Jews, and they're <laughs> fake Jews, and they're real fake Jews, and they're standing in the way of the 144,000 from claiming our birthright yes. of eternal life, and it won't be tolerated. No. No, it's Something not. Something <laughs> is going to give. Yeah. And it's going to be... You know, we're, we're the reverse of a suicide bomber going into a crowd. I was saying earlier, like a suicide bomber goes into a crowd, strapped with dynamite, hits the trigger and explodes and, and, and kills everybody from the impact. Well, we're going into a crowd and we're exploding with alchemy and gnosis. And it's like flying out of our heart chakra and, and we're pulling it in through our crown, analyzing it through our third eye, projecting it through our vocal cords, you know, with heart-based intentions. So that we can, you know, get out of the swamp we're all stuck in. Yeah. But it's like, so it's the reverse of, you know, forcing the money. We're not confiscating the world's wealth. It's that we're forcing them to applicate it towards heaven on earth. Like all of the money in creation already belongs to us. This is our world. We own the air, the earth, the fire, the water, and the ether. Everything your money is made of, we own. The paper was printed on, the ink it was printed with. The silicone chips that are storing the data files in your computer, it's all conscious. The internet is conscious. You are inside of a living consciousness realm, and they can't see it. You're in your mother's womb. The sky is an amniotic sack. Like the amniotic sac you were in inside your mother's womb for nine months while your body formed. And then you were birthed in here covered in blood and water. And now you are inside of Mother Earth's womb. But you were targeted with all of these corporations and the religions and the governments and the media reinforcement and the education that was intentionally dumbed down yeah. just to bury your mind into the bullshit that you're a corporate business. They turned you into a business at mm -hmm. birth and everybody's legally dead, lost at sea and trapped in hell until they join us in blood and they don't have to like it. But they probably should 
because the prize at the end of the line is your eternal life where you don't have to die. You can stop counting off your days. It's been said that you can go to the edge and drink the living waters and come back here and play in the kingdom forever. As long as you don't invite death into your life and don't do stupid things, you can play in this kingdom forever. And the 144,000 are said to be able to go through the hole back to our bodies above the water. So how powerful are we if we're being birthed out of here? Like, this literally is our world. Mm -hmm. Like, it's our creation. It's, yeah. this is my the ownership of it belongs to, you know, the 144,000. Do what I want to. This is my world and I'm going to do what I want to. Because this is all mine. Yes, yeah, it's, it's... We're all going to the ground. We're the ones that are going to dictate the terms and conditions of heaven. And it's, you know, going to be around the round table where we all agree on these are the fundamental laws of creation. It's that Mark Braun is Satan in the flesh and he's the cornerstone of heaven because he opened the book of life and selflessly showed us how to place our own name in the book of life. This man yeah. is a hero. He gave us all the ability to reclaim our eternal life for free. The only thing he asked of us was to put up a drop of our own blood to stand in truth with each other yeah. so that we can get to the knowledge of the ages. Mm -hmm. And it's clear we're not on a spinning godless ball, that Santa Claus is a lie, that Jesus Christ is a hoax. The entire Christian religion is a satanic cult. Yes. They're the Satanists posing as these intelligent men of God, but all they're doing is misleading you from the truth. Mm -hmm. And that's going to piss a lot of Christians off, but it doesn't matter because Jesus never existed in the flesh as a living man, and nobody's coming back to save you. So if you want to stay mentally retarded, that's your choice. But we're trying to unretard people to speed them up to unhex their hearts so that they can amplify the energy coming into their shock or crown and begin to decode this information for themselves we're trying to blaze a trail to the holy grail that's why we're the hell blazers because we're literally in hell right now and we're no longer lost at sea because we can see it's just there's a few remaining things to clear up and that's what we're working on you know, uniting through these chats so that we can, you know, get the final questions answered. Is there more firmaments? Yes. What is the true shape of this world? Mm -hmm. How does birthing get out of here work? Like, who's prepared yeah. to dive into a hole at the center no, of the earth right. to be birthed into their bodies above the water? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, how do you get ready for this when you were never given this knowledge? Everything you were given was the reverse of truth, mm -hmm. targeted by these sociopath psychopaths. Yeah trying to drill pseudoscience into your head nope yeah, it was everything they've done is to hide the glow to hide the flat earth everything about their pseudoscience globe lies was to hide the flat earth and the holy grail and your spiritual connection to the elements that you were birthed into like this is your world your birthright is to drink from the living waters and no one will stop us stop they're going to apply one. every resource they have to heaven on earth or they're all dead without us their mothers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters, their sons, their daughters, their husbands, their wives. Everyone is going to die if they don't join us in blood to get to the center of the earth, to drink from the living waters. It's this prescription of reality. They don't have to like it. No, they don't. But something has to be done. Something's got to give here soon. Yep. This knowledge needs to be given freely. You can't share information and charge money for it because the very deaf Phoenician of sharing is to give freely. So I was told if you take money in the name of blood over intent, yep. that you'll die because your intentions will begin to be focused on building a business and making more money. And that's the land of the dead old world model. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the only equity of any value in the eyes of your creator is your blood, sweat and tears. That's right. So we could use a little help with sorting out this mm -hmm. financial tyranny. We're all stuck in. Yeah. What do you do? Sure. The money's all in the hands of a few people. That's and right. all we got people spiritual currency. That's how they control it.